When it comes to electronic devices, there are more choices today than ever before, which can be daunting for some consumers. Kind of hard to make a decision. Brian Tong is senior editor of CNET.com, a website that reports tech news and trends and reviews the latest electronic products. He says tablet computers are one of the hottest items this year. With a starting price of $329, the iPad mini is one of the most popular and more expensive tablets. One of Apple's biggest competitors is the cheaper Google Nexus 7, starting at $199. The hardware inside is more powerful than what's in the iPad mini, but also it offers you a lot of things like maps that work better than Apple's maps. Other companies have tablets with other features. This one attaches to a keyboard. This one has a stylus. If you just want to read books and surf the internet, really, you don't really need to get an iPad mini. But if you want the largest, robust group of apps, that's where the iPad and Apple's ecosystem shines the most. Nintendo is jumping on the concept of tablets with its Wii U game device. It comes with this new touchscreen gamepad that also has traditional controls for video games. One of the most popular games for the Wii U, Super Mario Bros. U. Another hot gadget, smart cameras. They connect to the internet through Wi-Fi so consumers can email or upload photos to a social networking site directly from the camera, says Elman Chacon of the electronics store Best Buy. You can literally take a picture, upload it into your Facebook in a matter of seconds. These things are pretty cool because they do a lot of things. Streaming media boxes also connect to the internet and allow people to view web content such as movies and YouTube videos on their televisions. Another gadget, wireless speakers, which work with any device that has Bluetooth technology, including smartphones, laptops, and tablets. With the increasing popularity of internet shopping, many consumers are first coming to a retail store to look at the actual product and then going online to find a lower price and buying that item on the internet. Oh yeah, that's the, that's the way to do it, right? If you want to um, check out the product first and if it's cheaper online. Retail stores like Best Buy understand that and are trying to stay competitive. We have something called the perfect match promise, which means that if you buy a certain device and you find it cheaper within 30 days, we'll go ahead and price match that for you. With so many options in prices and products, it is up to consumers to do their homework before making a purchase. Elizabeth Lee for VOA News, Los Angeles.